Hello, friends. Okay, I'm gonna share this to my other page, which is Rhea Coleman. Make sure that you're following there. That's like my personal Facebook page. And then I'm also gonna share this to my beauty group, which is Beauty by Rhea Hope. So make sure you're following in there too. And now we'll get started. Hello, hi Amy. If you guys haven't done so yet, if you could invite a friend to watch, that would be incredible. You can either tag them in the comments or you could just share this to their wall by clicking that share button in your bottom left hand corner. And then if you're not already, um, if you haven't done so yet, there's three little dots up here. If you click those, you can turn on live notifications, which it'll just, Facebook will give you a notification when I go live. Um, it's super awesome. It's like, oh cool, there she is. Um, so if you haven't done that yet, make sure you do so. So again, three little dots up there, you'll just click there and it'll alert you when I go live. Um, and then the other thing that I had to tell you guys or remind you is about my subscription. Um, it's super easy. All you have to do is you're going to text Rhea Hope, which I'll write right here, Rhea Hope, to the number 83361. 83361, and you'll just write Rhea Hope to that. Um, and then you'll be signed up to the notifications. I don't bother you. I just text you when I'm going live or when the new kudos launches or when something gets restocked that you guys have been like really waiting for. Um, that's basically it. So yeah, aw, thank you. Well, this is gonna be a really fun tutorial because I'm gonna be doing a routine that I have never done. So hopefully it turns out okay. <laughs> Beauty of being live. Um, but I'm also gonna give you another option for concealer. So Unique only has one concealer for now. Um, so I know that concealer sometimes can feel, um, for some people may not work everyone's skin is different everyone's preferences are different so I like to always give you guys new options and new ideas um, for your makeup so you can find just about any type of coverage any type of anything with our product so I'm gonna show you how to use um, some new things does the plumping lip plump the lips much yes Sally that's a good idea maybe I'll use that too I haven't used that in forever live so we'll we'll do that as well how about that? So you get, you can see. All right, I'm actually, it's, man, you guys are all about them good ideas. So what I'm gonna do right now, so I do personally have lip injections. I go twice a year, every year. I have a really, really small upper lip and that's just what makes me happy. I save, save, save to do it. And yeah, that's my prerogative. But I realize it can be really expensive. So you need another more realistic option to get that pouty, the pouty lips. So Unique has this product right here. This is called the Hottie Lip Plumper. It's been on our website for at least a year, year and a half. It, it actually released as a limited edition item and so many Unique presenters didn't yell at Unique, but we were like, we need that, like bring it back, that they actually brought it back. It's very rare that they actually bring a limited edition product and make it a core product for the line, like very unique. <laughs> get it um, and this is one of them so what I do with this and what you can do also if you're wanting your lips to appear larger or more plump what you're gonna do is you are going to prep and prime your skin before your makeup then you're gonna go in with your hottie lip plumper and you're gonna apply it first and what you're gonna want to do is go up above the lip in this area now it doesn't burn it doesn't sting unless you're sunburned then you probably wouldn't want to use it you don't wanna really kiss your little kids because it does have peppermint in it, which is what gets the blood flowing to that area. So what it does is it basically draws the blood um, to fill the lips. So what I like to do is I like to put it on before I put on my makeup and then we're gonna draw with our lip liner in that area and then we're gonna put on our lip products and we're gonna top with this. So it is a temporary plump, but if you do it before you do your makeup, um, it gives enough time for it to plump it up and then you top it. So it's just, it's a really good like combo. Good afternoon. Oh, Sam, you're so close. I love a necklace. I'm gonna give you guys all my product, my product details, my outfit details, including jewelry over on my Instagram, Cindy. So make sure that you're following me over on Instagram. My name over there is Rhea Hope. Sally, you should, you need this, the hottie lip plumper. This is gonna be under lip glosses on the website. I love watching Learn From Your Pipe says we're pen pals. Oh, I love that. 
Um, so Jane, you're gonna wanna do that on your cell phone. So the number that you're gonna text on a cell phone is 83361, and then you're gonna type Ray of Hope, but you're gonna send it as a text, not on Facebook. Yes, the Heidi Lip Plumper's amazing, amazing. I'm, I'm glad one of you guys recommended me use that right now, because I've been meaning to. All right, so now for coverage, like I uh, labeled this tutorial, we're gonna do something a little more um, hydrating because I normally, I always do have oily skin, but I wanna give you guys another, give you guys another option. <laughs> Sometimes these words come out of my mouth, so odd. Um, I wanna give you guys another option. So this tutorial is gonna be focused solely on dry skin. So if you have dry skin or mature skin, or you don't wanna wear like a ton of makeup, but you still want flawless coverage, you're gonna want this routine. No, I'm not packed yet, Deborah. I'm like, oh my God, I have to pack today. Ah, it's so crazy. I like, I'm so overwhelmed with it all. My daughter's lashes are falling out. Any suggestions? I would highly recommend to grab the Esteem Lash Serum for her, Susan. It's incredible. And it's random, but Unique or Lange that lets you make payments. Both do, Courtney. Um, Lange has a payment plan through Afterpay and Unique has a payment plan through PayPal. All right, so now that we've let our hottie lip plumper do its magic. You can already see how much more plump my lips are, right? Amazing. So I'm going to wipe it off and then we're going to reapply it in a little bit. But now we've let it do its magic. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go in with our BB Flawless. On my skin already, I have on my Touch Behold Translucent, <laughs> Translucent, my Touch Behold Setting Spray and I also have on my Glorious Face Primer already on my face. That's why it kind of looks like that satiny um, finish, but that is prepping and priming our skin. Just like as if you were to paint a wall, you wouldn't not prime the wall first, right? You would prime the wall so your paint looked more uh, darker or fuller, and then it wouldn't seep in all the cracks and the creases and the you know holes. Same thing goes with your skin. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is the BB Flawless. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna use the shade Honey. And as you saw, it's really important to shake it up. All right, so this is the shade Honey. And although on the website it can look a little bit dark, it blends out so beautifully. And I'm gonna put that on with my hands at first, just to get it like on there. And this is going to completely diminish any redness. So if you are trying to find a good coverage that's super, super, super light on your skin, doesn't feel like anything, but still gives you hydration, the BB Flawless is definitely what you wanna grab. It also has a natural SPF in it, so it's also protecting your skin. So when we're on vacation or like I'm laying by the pool or anything like that, the BB Flawless is like my go-to. I always set it though, because look how dewy this is. I mean, some people love the dewy finish. I personally don't really veer towards it, but Look at just how a little bit, a little dollop of that BB Flawless completely diminished any redness and it's already beginning to hide our little imperfections. So that was just a little dollop. So now I'm gonna go in with just a tad bit more. And again, this is the BB Flawless Complexion Enhancer in the shade Honey. And now I'm just gonna dot this around my face and now we're gonna go in with the blending bud. So important to top your foundations with the blending bud even if you're using a BB cream because this is going to really make everything look super, super smooth. It's also compacting the makeup in a place so it's not just sitting on the top of your face. And it's also helping to hide your redness. And if you have large pores, this is also gonna minimize the appearance of your pores showing through. But look at how much fuller coverage it looks on this side versus this side. On my eyelids especially, just because I have a lot of redness there, but isn't that amazing? Just a little bit of that BB Flawless blended in with the blending bud. Find the you're live, watching your video during chemo. Um, glad we can like distract you, Karen. We're praying for you. All of our foundations are water resistant. Yes, water resistant. Water resistant. Yes, you can do a payment plan on the presenter's kit as well. There's this app. Um, I forget what it's called at the moment, but I actually have it on my Instagram story if you want to check that out. That um, it's this app that you can do payments through. Yes, praying for you, Karen. All right, so we're just blending all that in and make sure you always blend it down, just like that. Look at, at that amazing coverage. Isn't that so beautiful? I love, 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 love the coverage of the BB cream. So that is just the BB Flawless Complexion Enhancer in the shade Honey. I know, we have a pool and so he's always like swimming with the kids, working around the house. 
I know, he's like, I always tell him, like, put on a shirt. <laughs> he's like, I'm just kidding, giving you more viewers. <laughs> no, get out of here. All right, so now it's time to do our under eyes. So normally this would be the part that I um, do my concealer. So I know the concealer can be a little more thick on other people. Um, yes, always, you guys are so funny. Uh, do I dye my eyebrows? No, this is my natural hair color. Yes, you can make payment plans on the presenters kit, but you'll need to go to my Instagram story to see how to do that. My Instagram name is there, it's Raya Hope. All right, so for concealer, we're gonna do a new trick. So we're actually gonna use the um, stick foundation in the shade Scarlet, which is the lightest shade. And this is actually what we're gonna use to um, conceal and like use as our concealer basically. So I just used a tad bit on my under eye and this is the lightest shade, this is the shade Scarlet. But what this is gonna do is it's not only gonna brighten our under eye, but it's gonna provide even more hydrating coverage. So what I was getting at um, about talking about the concealer versus using the stick foundation to do this step. So the stick foundation is much more like a, a thinner consistency. So if you're having trouble with the concealer not laying correctly on your skin, or you're just wanting something a little lighter, the stick foundation would be the way to go for that. And again, I'm using the shade Scarlet, but if you want something that's more your skin tone, you can do that, but you can already see how beautiful it kind of highlights our under eyes. Isn't that nice? All right, so now we are gonna set the rest of our face, and I'm not gonna use a setting powder because if you have dry skin, you're not gonna want to use a setting powder because it would accentuate your dryness. So what you're gonna wanna do instead, is you're gonna wanna take your pressed powder, and we're gonna use the shade Scarlet. We're gonna use a dry beauty blender, and we are just going to pop that on there, and then you're going to set your under eye with this. And this is going to prevent it from creasing. It's also going to highlight your under eye, making it look brighter, tighter, more youthful. And we're also gonna pop this on the eyelids. So in the normal way that we would be doing the setting powder, we did the pressed powder in, in, in place of it. How do you find the right color for our skin tone? So Tracy, what you're gonna to wanna to do is message me. Send me a selfie facing window and I can give you a full recommendation. All right, so another option. If you have a lot of fine lines and wrinkles, this is another step for you that would be really helpful. Taking your true color of your pressed powder, so for me it's the shade Satin, taking that same dry beauty blender and instead of using a brighter color, if you have, let's say, um, fine lines and wrinkles around your, around your mouth, which most of us do, or here on the forehead. You are going to use this as your setting powder. So it's not gonna look bright. Instead, it's going to act as a setting powder um, without giving you the illusion that it's like a brighter, like a highlight. Brighter, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> a highlight. So see how it's like really bright in that area? So now we're gonna blend everything out and just give us a fuller, beautiful coverage and now I'm using all products that I would recommend to someone who has dry skin. Notice that I'm still using my pressed powder. This pressed powder is made for everyone. It doesn't matter if you have dry skin, oily skin, mature skin, does not matter what type of skin type you have. This pressed powder is so incredible on everyone. You're just gonna wanna make sure that you're applying it with a kabuki brush because this is going to be applying it much more lighter and like easier and um, like much more silky on your skin rather than being really heavy with using a sponge or a smaller brush. This is applying it thinner and more like airbrushed. So we're gonna go over this under eye area right here just to make it look very like melted. You don't want it to look like you highlighted only one area, right? All right, so that is the coverage. Not really pretty. Just very, it like mutes everything. You don't feel like you're wearing a ton of makeup and you guys, it feels so hydrating. I have oily skin, so I'm like fanning my oil away. <laughs> but if you had dry skin, your skin would be like living its best life right now. Yeah, super duper easy. BB Flawless, put on with your hands, blend it in with the blending buds, use your stick, pop that under your eyes with the blending bud, take your pressed powder, push that, and use a big kabuki brush for the rest of your face. So easy, like there's no skill involved with this. It, these products make it easy, and especially if you have fine lines, mature skin, or dry skin, this routine is going to be incredible for you. It's gonna look so good. If you have dry skin, Krista, this is what you need. These guys right here. Those are all three, this is all I have on my skin. This, these three things. 
give you this coverage. Isn't that amazing? Looks so good. This brush is not by Unique. Um, you'll just need to message me. Send me a message and I can give you the link to this guy. Yes, pressed powder looks incredible. It really does give you that flawless finish. Would you use the lightest BB cream for concealer? Um, I probably wouldn't. I don't think it would give you enough coverage to act as concealer, to be honest. So I would recommend the stick foundation or our skin perfecting concealer. I've been with Unique almost four years. Crazy, crazy. Time flies when you're having fun. But message me if I miss anyone's comment or if you have any questions or if you have not been color matched by me yet, definitely shoot me a message. I would love to color match you. Yes, always, always, always prime. It's a crime, not to prime. So always the Glorious Face Primer and the Touch Bold Setting Spray. All right, so now time to contour to really accentuate our, our face shape, not make it look like we're washed out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm taking these uh, beach front bronzer in the shade Hermosa with the fluffy crease brush and you're just gonna massage, massage. I'm thinking of the most odd words today. You're going to do little circular motions in the cap to separate that pigment. And then you're gonna think from the top of the ear to the corner of the mouth. That's kind of where you wanna pop that contour in. And now you can do like as soft or as heavy of the contour as you feel comfortable. I love a more bold contour, so if you wanted something more subtle, you can go down in a shade to the shade Sunset. Wanting for the hydrating primer? Yes, the hydrating primer is gonna be an incredible game changer for uh, dry skin. That releases October 1st, and a lot of people are waiting on it, so I have a feeling it might sell out. So be sure that you sign up for my subscription service, which again, all you have to do is type on your phone like a text message, um, Raya Hope, all one word, to the number 83361. All right, so contouring your nose. Just gonna squeeze the brush, run it down the center of, or the sides of your nose, underneath. But isn't that so pretty? Doesn't it like totally bring the makeup look together? Isn't that amazing? And it makes your under eye look so much more brighter, more youthful. No, it's not a spray primer. It looks, it's in the bottom of my case. It look, it's a normal primer. It comes in like a tube like this. Yay, awesome, Deborah! I'm so excited for you. The primer, I believe, will be 39, same as the others. All right, so now that we have our contour, now it's time to give us some, some glow and some color back to our skin. So I'm gonna go in with the shade Supple in the uh, pressed blush, and I'm taking the blusher brush. You always swirl in the mirror to separate that pigment and smile. And then you're just gonna tap this on the apple of your cheek, working up to the hairline, sticking closer to the bronzer. Yay, hi Karen. All right, so same thing on this side. So just tapping on the apple, working to the hairline, just like so. And it's just gonna give us that like flush of color and it's also going to make our cheekbones come up to the party. Isn't that so pretty? I love it. All right, so now for highlight, we're gonna use the shade Lustrious. I love this highlight. It gives you the most gorgeous like glow. So if you are, which most of you are, if you're watching this, mo you most likely have dry skin. This is going to make your dry skin look incredible. So not only are you getting that really pretty dewy finish from the BB Flawless, but this is also gonna give you that really gorgeous, like glowy, healthy, like dewy finish. So super pretty. So again, that was a touch of the mode luminizer in the shade Lustrous. It's just like a fancy word for highlight basically. Okay. And if you get shiny throughout it, like I was getting shiny right there, I'll just tap it with my pressed powder brush until I set everything. Just see the ready prep set collection. Yay. Awesome. Oh my gosh. I'm so glad. Yes, and you guys can get the BB Flawless in the Ready Set Prep collection. So if you are wanting to snag this and get it on sale at a, a good discount, definitely grab it in that collection. It's the best way to get like a ton of makeup. Um, so if you go to my website, rayahopebeauty.com, and you go to collections and sets, you can go to the collection that's called Ready Set Prep, and it's the best way to get a ton of makeup. Yay, awesome, Peggy. I'm so excited for you. All right, so now we're gonna brush out our eyebrows in case any foundation got in there. And then now I'm gonna go in with another product that I haven't used in a very long time. I actually used it yesterday though to show you guys how to do it. Um, but this is the Brow Obsession Palette. So if you have no brow hair, limited brow hair, or you want something um, that's gonna last you a really long time, the Brow Obsession Palette's the way to go. This thing lasts 
forever and you get two options so say your hair your brow hair is kind of it falls in the middle it's not too dark it's not too light so the light pal or the light pencil is too light the medium pencil is too dark this is like the perfect happy median because you're going to get two options for powders so you get two highlights and you get the pomade but you want to definitely make sure that you grab the brow artist brush so i'm going to tap my brow artist brush in the pomade and then i tap it in the color that best matches my my brow hair so i'm going to take that on my brow artist brush and then i start here where i have all the brow hair and then you just simply follow the natural shape and direction of your brows this is going to give you very natural brows it's also going to be water resistant so so easy to use and like i said these products last so long and it makes the biggest difference on doing your eyebrows versus not which I'm, i'll show you the the difference of course in just a sec and then just kind of add more as you go start with a little you can always build it up to be more bold But I love that the powder just looks so soft on the eyes rather than the pencil looks a little bit more harsh, a little more, a little bit more bold. This powder just looks so natural. Not amazing? Such a huge difference. I love it. So this side looks much more framed, much more put together. You have much more room for eyeshadow versus this side may look a little bit messy. You can see how I have that sparse area in the front. This side just looks put together, right? It just frames the face. Love the BB cream. Yes, the BB cream is so, so good. Is there a different presenter's kit? There's uh, three options for presenter's kits now, which if you're wanting to join to do this, what I do, just message me and I can talk you through it. I can talk to you about how to join and all that good stuff. But basically with your eyebrows for application, you just simply outline and color in. And look how easy this this glides on so so easy to use i love it and then i'm going to show you how to clean them up or if you messed up this is what you're going to want to do okay you're going to take that flat end of the brow artist brush and then you're just going to tap it into any of these highlights whether you want the pink one or the white one we're going to use the white one just like that and then you can simply just underline the eyebrow, it's, it's like a magic erase marker. Just simply cleans it up. Just like that. Isn't that amazing? It's so easy to do, guys. Like if you are trying to learn how to do your eyebrows, or maybe you have the brow pencils and you're flying through them every month, this is a great option because it lasts for so long. And it's not really port a little, little, little bit really pretty. I love the outcome of the brow artist brush and the brow obsession palette. Two things. All right, so now for eyes, we're gonna do super, super simple eye look using our liquid eyeshadow. But first we're gonna use the bronzer in our crease. And this is just simply going to allow um, the liquid eye, liquid eyeshadow to just lay really beautifully and look blended. I know, isn't the brow palette so good? Yes, eyebrows can be difficult if you're not using the right products and then just keep practicing. Practice makes a huge difference so don't give up you can do it i know you can my brows and lashes are awful what is the best way to fill them in and help them grow so courtney the best way to help them grow is grabbing the esteem lash serum it's underneath the lashes but what you can do is you can take it through the eyebrows and through your eyelashes it'll help them grow and then to fill them in you're definitely going to want the brow obsession palette that i just used and the brow artist brush how many times I've had to put me under. Oh, I'm sorry. But definitely, if you're wanting to see those results, I would highly recommend grabbing those, Courtney. And those will all be under eyes on my website. And if you guys ever have any trouble finding anything on the website, you can always private message me and I would love to help. I'll send you the direct link. I just wanna make your life easier. So just message me and I can help you out. I'm just wiping off whatever is left on that brush from yesterday. But now we're gonna go in with a liquid eyeshadow in the shade Reverent. I think out of all of them, this is like my favorite for just very simple every day. It's very complimenting to the eyes. It draws the attention to them. So if you have smaller or hooded eyes or you want something just very soft and subtle to wear every day, this one is a really, really great option because look at how pretty it is. It's not very bright and like 
bold, but it definitely draws the attention to the eyes, which I like. So if you wear glasses, this is another really, really great option. <laughs> See how it draws the attention? Isn't that amazing? Like the first eye you look at, which one? It's this one, right? You're like, woo. I love it. So again, this is shade Reverent, if you haven't grabbed this yet. And it's super easy to use. You just start here in the center of the eye and then start painting inward, upward, outward, and along the lash line. We done. Then you're gonna take the cream shadow brush and then you just soften it up and just kind of go over that. It's smudge proof, it's crease proof. If you have oily eyelids or you have a lot of creasing or wrinkles on your eyelids, this is a really, really great product because it's actually gonna stay put. It's not gonna crease or run or disappear on your, on your eyes. Isn't that amazing? So pretty. All right, so another thing to do for your eyes to make them look whiter and brighter and draw the attention is white eyeliner. So this is the eyeliner in the shade Pristine. It opens up the eyes a lot. And you're just gonna put this on the water lines. You can do the bottom or just the top or whichever. I'd like to do both for me. And this is just going to open up the eyes. Again, look how much bigger this eye looks than this one. Isn't that amazing? White eyeliner, you guys. So again, this is the shade Pristine and the what the eyeliner is only 15 bucks. They last forever. Okay, so once we get that. All right, now we're gonna set our makeup and do our mascara. So shake that up. And this is such an important step when doing your makeup because this is really gonna keep the makeup in place. And it's gonna take away that like makeup-y or powdery look. I forgot to get my fan out, sorry. Yes, absolutely. What color did you use in your crease? Just the beachfront bronzer. So that's just bronzer and the liquid eyeshadow in the shade Reverend. I don't think it's too shimmery for us older ladies. It's not shimmery. It's more of like a metallic. So as you see, it's not like a glitter. And it's very complimenting if you have, if you're more mature, if you have a lot of fine lines and wrinkles. I actually did a hair tutorial yesterday using the Levite hair straightener brush. If you haven't checked that out, definitely do so. Um, or I am actually gonna pop over on Instagram um, to do a hair tutorial on my Instagram story. So if you wanna catch it over there, you're more than welcome to. Yes, Hermosa. Yeah, isn't it amazing? It really makes your eyes open up. Yes, exactly, Sarah. Do you think the cooling powder setting spray? Do you like the cooling powder setting spray? Uh, we don't have a setting spray that's cooling, but we do have the cooling powder. I personally don't really like it, um, but I like the Touch Bold setting, um, setting spray. All right, so now for the lash primer, we're gonna go at the base, and we're gonna do one coat of this on each side, and what this does is it nourishes our lashes, so it helps them be more like stronger, more stronger, goodness, terrible English. It makes your lashes like thicker and stronger. So it slows down the cycle of them like falling out. So it actually makes them look a lot bolder. And then it also extends your lashes for the mascara. So it makes your lashes look that much more fuller. Again, more fuller one way. Goodness gracious, you guys, today. <laughs> but comes in the kudos. Will you link all the products? Yes, all, Tracy, everything I'm using is available right here. Rhea hopebeauty.com. Do you think there's a difference in the liquid shadows from the one? Yes, it's a completely different formula. Okay, so now for mascara, we're gonna go right in with the 4D. And this mascara is so, so good, you guys. There's no fallout. It helps your lashes look so intense, so long, so full, so good. It's water resistant. You guys are gonna be amazed by these results. Every time I put this on, I'm like, wow. Wow. Look at that. Is that amazing? You guys, it's crazy. Craziness, pure craziness. So good. So put it on over on this side. So again, this is the 4D. So in this month's kudos, you can get the 4D mascara, the lash primer, and also two liquid lipsticks plus a purse that looks exactly like a Chanel bag. You can get that all in this month's kudos. So if you haven't snagged that yet, definitely grab it. 
And then like I was saying before, if you are trying to like ball on a budget, which I feel you, you wanna get a ton of product and save the most money, highly recommend that you snag the collection called the Ready, Set, Prep Collection. It's the best bang for your buck. And again, that's under collections and sets. And like I keep telling you guys, if you need me to send you any links or if you can't find anything for any reason, just message me and I can let you know. I can send it to you. <laughs> Use my kind of English, I know. If I have any English teachers watching, they're probably like, oh my gosh, you did not just say more better. <laughs> but yes, everything is uh, linked right here, rayhopebeauty.com. And then I will give you guys the full product list when I get off as well. Uh, of course. I'm like so unprepared today, I apologize. This isn't this. This isn't like me. Okay, I need my sharpener. The sharpener is so good. If you guys haven't grabbed this yet, it's like $7.50. And it sharpens your lip and your eyeliner so good. All right, so we're gonna use the lip liner in the shade Prudent. And again, I'm gonna show you a very hydrating lip look. All right, so we're gonna line our lips. And when I do this, I like put my lip liner right on where my lip line ends, right there. Just like that. And then you're gonna fill them in. And the reason we fill our whole lip in is because the lip liners are pretty dang smudge proof. So they're gonna hold the color on our lips way longer throughout the day than just lining your lips. So if you struggle with your lipstick, whatever color you're using, like staying on throughout the day, definitely try to fill in your whole lip with the lip liner, whatever color you're using. Aw, thank you, hello from Germany. Yes, the pencil sharpener is amazing. The lip plumper is incredible, Emily. I actually used it in the beginning of this tutorial to make my lips plump, and now we're gonna use it here again in one second. All right, so now for Hydrating, hydrating your lips, but still getting a really pretty lip color. So I just used the lip liner in the shade Prudent, and now I'm gonna go in with this guy right here. This is called our Lip Bonbons. These are amazing, I have these in my car, in my purse. I used to have them in the diaper bag. Like, I have them everywhere. <laughs> they're so hydrating and they're so pretty. This one's definitely my favorite. It's called Red Velvet Cheesecake. Wait, wait, not cheesecake, Red Velvet Cake. The other one is cheesecake. This one is Red Velvet Cake. And you're gonna start here. And it is so good. It has just a very slight hint of color, but they are so hydrating. How pretty is that? And this is something you can touch up throughout the day. You don't even need to wear a lip liner underneath it. If you just wanted to throw it on your lips, it's still gonna give you a really pretty lip, lip tint, um, but it's super hydrating. Again, I love these, especially when we're on the go. I have them everywhere. I say lip liner all of the time. Everyone looks, asks me about my lipstick. Yes! Could I have substitute BB cream for the liquid touch? Yes, you can. I have big lips when I line, I feel like a joker. So Tammy, don't overdraw your lips. You're gonna stick like right on to the actual lip. So last step that we're gonna do is this guy right here, which is the Hottie Lip Plumper. And we're just gonna top it. And now, this is not only gonna add like a really pretty gloss to our lip look, but it's also going to plump your lip as you wear it throughout the day. So you can take these on the go and touch them up throughout the day, because this is just like a tinted lip moist. It's, like it's like a chapstick, basically, like a tinted chapstick. No, it does not burn at all, has peppermint in it, which draws the blood flow to the lips, and that's the only like sensation, but it's not burning, doesn't, it's like a tingle, if anything. Almost like a menthol, like that's a perfect example. It's like a menthol-y tingle. What's the difference between the BB cream and the liquid touch? So the BB cream is what we have on today. It's a hydrating tinted moisturizer, has a natural SPF in it, and it's just a very light coverage. It gives you that dewy finish. See how my skin looks very dewy all over? That's thanks to this combo. So if you're just now tuning in, what we did today, which I don't normally do this, um, I did the BB Flawless in the shade Honey for all over. We used our blending bud to really pack it in a place. Then we went in with the stick foundation in the shade Scarlet for under eye for highlight. I set it all with the Mineral Touch pressed powder. I did Scarlet for my under eye to highlight and then I used the shade Satin for all over. 
we did the BB, or I'm sorry, the Beachfront Bronzer in the shade Hermosa for the crease and then also the contour. We did the blush in the shade Supple for our blush. And then for our highlight, we did the shade Lustrous in the Touch Little Mode Luminizer. That's so pretty. And then we did the Brow Obsession Palette with the Brow Artist Brush for our eyebrows today. And then we use the liquid eyeshadow in the shade Reverent for our eyes. We did, of course, my favorite lash combo, the Lash Primer in the 4D, which you can get all of these in this month's kudos. And then on our lips, we did the Lip Liner in Prudent. We did the Lip Bon Bon in Red Velvet Cake. And then we topped it with Hottie Lip Plumper. And of course, we all set it with the setting, the setting spray. Did you post your mom's recent makeover? Yes, that is on my page as well. Yes, isn't that so pretty? Um, honey is darker than bisque, but both of them are so easy to blend. I can wear both and make it work. It really, when you're using the BB cream, it really matters what pressed powder you're using because the pressed powder really sets the tone for the coverage, like the color. Um, but if you're similar to me, you can use the shade Honey. And I love this for like vacation because of that natural SPF. So that is the full tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you click that share button in your bottom left hand corner so you can save this um, tutorial on your page so when you get your products in the mail, you can watch it on the replay and do your makeup with me. If you need a color recommendation, if you're not sure what BB cream to get, concealer, whatever, just message me and I'd love, love, love to help you. Um, everything is available right here, rayahopebeauty.com. That's where you can find everything I just used. And yeah, don't uh, hesitate. Send me a message if you guys need any help. So I'm going to see you guys over on Instagram now. So I'll meet you over there. My Instagram name is Rhea Hope. So I'll see you on Instagram. Bye.